Hey everybody, and welcome to Spricken Studios. I'm your host, Senshi Spricken. Yeah! And uh, I'm here to bring you not one, not two, but three diorama videos. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay, there are not three dioramas in this video, but I am filming three videos back to back that are all diorama videos for people who bought dioramas. And uh, rather than do three separate intros, I'm going to do one intro, and this intro will be for all of them. And outros too, I think. So, uh, yeah, so it's like I'm filming three in one, but not really. Three back to back with the same intro and outro. So, uh, yes, <laughs> they're really cool. And uh, this specific video Loading dock diorama. is uh, pretty amazing, and uh, I hope you will find it amazing too. One of these videos, <laughs> I don't know whatever one this is, one of them will include my very first uh, 124th scale diorama. Yes, micro scale, like this little guy. Ooh, look at this. It's like uh, kind of a little bit smaller than hexagear or hexagear size. Yeah, roughly. Um, and uh, it was pretty cool to make. And uh, I think I'll be making more in the future for sure. And the other two are 112 dioramas that I had made and uh, put up on my Etsy shop and uh, they sold. And they're all going to new, brand new homes and it's gonna be awesome. So. Uh, enjoy whatever one of this video it is. Actually, it's loading dock diorama, and uh, <laughs> it'll be really cool. So, uh, without further ado, straight up, not gonna lie, I have no idea why this diorama took so long to sell. This is one of my favorite dioramas I've actually built, to be honest. It is like perfect detolf display case. Ikea display case over there size fits like a glove and uh, it has this slanted roof which is amazing and this thing takes killer pics I'm no photographer by any stretch of the imagination but you should see this thing in the dark with the light off it almost looks like a real place and uh, yeah that's just by me taking a picture of it so anybody with any kind of skills will make this thing uh, look uh, absolutely amazing now uh, speaking of where it fits, uh, let me just tell you the dimensions real quick here. And those would be uh, about 12 inches long, so about a foot long, um, 9 inches deep, and 13 inches tall. I believe those are the dimensions. Yes. And uh, this thing is uh, really, really, really cool. And it's uh, one of those dioramas that's kind of meant to be seen, uh, or can be seen, um, from uh, multiple angles yeah because usually when i make a di diorama the outer walls uh like here and here uh and definitely behind are all just like paint painted black because uh the main focus is supposed to be on the inside now this one is like that as well but since i made it to go in a display case like a detail case um i finished the sides as well so the brickwork on both of these sides is complete and looking uh, nice so that uh, if you're just walking and you see the side of it uh, it still looks cool it doesn't just look like a black box so let's uh, dive in here and see the cool details not sure where to start how about we start from the top look we have a nice uh, shingled kind of uh, slanted roof here and it has uh, some pipage drain spout pipage going there and uh, just look at this brick. I am pretty pleased with how this dirty brick turned out. Yes, it looks good on all sides, if you can see from the shadow of my uh, head. And even the, on the outside here. Yeah, I love all that kind of... Uh, what, what do we call this? I don't know. Um, this... Uh, my chair is squeaking like crazy. Grimy... Uh, Grout, grouty stuff, dirty things. All right, look, and look, the uh, walls, they have all kinds of uh, cool little things on them, like this security cam uh, sticker, notice. Oh, we got an actual notice thing up here for uh, all persons entering this site must comply with Safety Res Regulations Act, blah, blah, blah. Then we got a no entry and a no smoking sign. We got our light above the door. That is the only light for this diorama, and that's the only light that's uh, needed for it to work splendidly. And look at these doors. I really like the color of these doors. 
And they're like a double door, and they're not meant to be opened or accessed uh, from this area. You kind of have to uh, get someone to open from the inside, because it's a secure location, yes, um, for loading and unloading of things. So we don't want anybody coming and, and uh, trying to get in. And look, there's a cinder block to hold the door open. Ah, I love it. And look, there's even one of these things. Um, with the, uh, what are these called? Hinges? Yeah, for when this thing comes up and then uh, lowers back down into the truck bed or whatever to unload things. And we got some rust happening there. I love it. More cinder blocks. We got our uh, normal uh, asphalt kind of ground. We got these, uh, what are these? Bollards or something? <laughs> I always forget the name, but I think it's something like that. And those are uh, magnetized into place there. There to prevent you from hitting the delicious brick walls and uh, stairs over here, uh, which are pretty cool steps, me thinks. Then we have uh, some just kind of junky things that people are throwing away who might live here. Who knows? This could be like a uh, retirement home or senior living or apartment thing or, I don't know, a school. This could be anything, anything you want. But we have some newspapers. Some garbagey, trashy newspapers everywhere. We have this uh, dresser drawer thing with one drawer. Um, yeah, and that's pretty neat. We have a, a vase, vase, or a ceramic type thingy, a box, and of course, no diorama is complete without uh, the beer bottles. And look at this, we even have a foldable black chair to sit and chill out here. Yeah, and then look, can we look? The ceiling up here under here has some really nice detail uh, coloring as well and I think that uh, makes it look really really cool yeah one of the things I have to say that I really appreciate about this diorama is uh, the paint job that I did on everything uh, I really did my best um, for this little diorama not that I don't do my best on all the dioramas but uh, I really wanted to test out a lot of different things and the testing went pretty darn well, I think. Like, just look at this, uh, let me see if I can zoom with all the shadows. Just the different staining and coloring and texture that everything has. I just think it, uh, it was fairly convincing. Yes. And like I said before, the brick, I think that turned out nicely as well. So, in short, I love this diorama, and I'm glad that it finally found a home. I was uh, beginning to uh, wonder what the heck was going on out there. That no one wanted this nice little cute diorama for your detail thing. Yes, uh, just wait. I'll show you this in the dark. Whew. It's something nice. Ho, ho, ho. Check it out. We got some kind of uh, glare going on in the camera, but I think this captures it quite nicely just look look at how cool this looks with the lights off as if nighttime oh. capture all that ambiance well super light flare what's going on oh. I assure you the camera does not do this justice it looks really really cool in person with the lights off here's the diorama all broken down comes in uh, what six main pieces and uh, it's super simple to put together I'll show you okay here we go first you find your base, the floor, the asphalt piece. Now, as you can see, this has a kind of lighter line going there. Yes, this will indicate that this area up here, the smaller area, is indeed the back of the diorama, and this is the uh, front. So you just lay this down like this. Boink. Okay, we have our orientation there. Now, the next piece we get is this piece, our door piece. Now, if you can see, this is kind of funny because the door is hanging off this 
yeah, what's going on here? I'll show you what's going on. I did this on purpose because I wanted to have this uh, cheaper shipping. So I wanted to fit it in a smaller box. And to do that, I just uh, separated these two pieces. Now, as you can see here, this piece has a uh, recessed part that the door will slide into. And it's all magnetized, easy peasy here. And it just lines up and it goes a little something like this. Perfect. And then it magnetizes to the back. Wow, just like that. So simple. And that's done. And the next thing I like to do is we get this nice big block part here. Now, this is not uh, magnetized at all. This is uh, free floating. And this just sits right here in front of the door, like so. And uh, this will fit nice and snugly once we get the uh, sides of the walls here on here. And is snugly a word? I feel like uh, it's uh, not the word, it should be used. <laughs> okay, anyways, we have this. Now, uh, on this left side, we have the thinner wall, and it is the wall with the no smoking sign. And that will indicate that this is the inner side of the wall. Okie dokie. So that's gonna face inside, and it's going to magnetize over here on the ground and also on the sides. And it's just gonna go like this, boink, just like so. And then you can push this over, this uh, floor piece over to fit more flush against it. And now we get our other back, I mean wall part, and this is the thick wall. And all we have to do is we look for, aha, there, our uh, camera, security camera, 24 hour camera, yes, we look for this thing, and that's gonna be facing us, so that uh, leaves the orientation pretty easy there as well. And, I forgot, there's this concrete piece thing here. And on the top of this, there are three magnets, and on the bottom of this one, there are three magnets. So, that's pretty easy. They're gonna line up only one way, really, like this. Yes, and that is like that. And then we're going to pop that into place there. And look at that. We have a dial already. Almost. We need the stairs. These stairs are just floating around here. And we just set them here. Yoink. Then we got our roof like this. And uh, this pipe is going to be facing us. And it's going to magnetize here and along the sides from this sloping down and resting here. Just like this. And then you can just kind of give everything a push together so it's all nice and easy. Voila! And then we put our bollards here. These are magnetized. I'll show you with my sneak like arms. These guys. One. Two. And then you can uh, decorate with the accessories however you like. Yeah! Easy peasy. So I removed the roof just to show you um, our light situation here. We have this light and we just give this a little pull and it uh, comes out just like that. It's friction fit and to activate this light, uh, I don't think we're in focus here, uh, but uh, you'll get the gist of it. You just uh, give it a twist, boink, and it turns on just like that, Wee. and then you uh, friction fit it back into place, ta-da, super easy, I love it. These things are the greatest. And uh, I'll include an extra light for you in case it burns out. But uh, you can just keep twisting and open it up. And little batteries are in there that you can replace. Um, but like I said, I'll include extra light. And uh, these lights you can also buy on Amazon or AliExpress or whatever in bulk packages. So that uh, you'll never run out. And they're uh, not that expensive. This diorama comes with such cool accessories and things too. Oh. I just really love this diorama. Actually, this this is going to be one of those dioramas that I've made um, that I'm going to miss when it's gone. Yes. Um, certain certain ones, I guess, I just uh, get attached to for some reason. And uh, this, this is one of them. Uh, especially because... Uh, let me see. It's hard to think and place things at the same time. Uh, I'll tell you why. It's because I don't uh, really build the same diorama twice. Uh, I've only really done it once, and um, that was uh, a bit difficult because uh, it 
gets more and more boring when you build the same things again and again. Um, so, so really, most of the dioramas I make are just one-offs. So I'll never make this thing again. And that makes it special. And, uh, yes. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm happy it's going to a home that's going to enjoy it because I don't really have much time to do much with it. But uh, I am going to miss it. I like it a lot. And um, uh, I really hope you enjoy it as well. Wasn't that a cool diorama? Oh, I really loved making... Loading dog. <laughs> it was very fun and it turned out great and uh, I'm so happy they're going to new homes and that people buy the works that I create with my own two hands <laughs> yes okay so uh, what's coming next is Spricka Studios I don't know because I don't know when these videos are gonna be out so there could be uh, things I never even thought of that are coming out or videos uh, that are uh, way in the future who knows I don't know but it's gonna be something cool it's gonna be uh, Misume related, uh, kit related, diorama related, who knows what related, Sprickin related, always. So uh, stay tuned, please. And uh, I thank you for tuning in and for liking my videos and for comments and doing all the wonderful things that you do because you're the greatest. And uh, yeah, a lot of thanks. So, uh, it's been a while since I've made a video. It's been like uh, a couple weeks, almost three weeks or something. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, stay creative and cozy. Yes, that's what I say. Uh, and uh, I'll see you next time. Hmm. I'm Mr. Sprickin. <laughs> Drinking out of my Sprickin Studios mug. And if you want one, message me and uh, maybe we can buy them. Who knows? Ah, makes any beverage taste delicious.